Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we will create this interesting building. Actually why it's interesting? Because this building plastic. It's really a nice concept. You can see it here. So we will try to make this same shape with this staircase, with this uh, the first level where the all MAP there. So let's do it. So let's create our plastic house for that one I will go to the project and will create the new one we will choose architecture template doesn't matter which one you even can't you choose the no, non so what gonna do now now we need to get our reference uh, I'm using the pure ref here is my all references inside this small window let's load it up load recent and plastic house as you see all the picture in one place it's really useful I recommend for you it's free so what's going on here we have the wall actually this only one wall uh, the outside wall exterior wall and here the curtain wall and that's it uh, and we have on one profile so follow all of them we have one profile as you see it's here also the same profile like in this side so let's back to the Revit and now we know how to create this uh, building we need only the work uh, reference plane let's create the reference plane here just like this and I will switch to the north view no actually I will switch to the east view and I will show you why now we will go to the component model in place and we creating the wall so let's create the wall and let's leave the name wall it's okay and now we need to understand where is our uh, where is our set plane working plane so let's pick the pick the plane okay and pick the hour line and now we're asking uh, like where we want to go to the north or sound view be because now we cannot cannot see properly here i will say like let's go to the north view here we are and why we need that because if i will use the sweep now now i can i can able to create the line on this view so let's draw something doesn't matter which one now it's no matter I will start from that side because I want this plane will be here on the top. Let's create it and we have finish. But not let's check. The height of our building is 2500 millimeters, so let's uh, erase it. 2600, let's do it. Nice. It looks so small. Anyway, uh, the what is the other dimension? 7 meters only. Okay. Let's check it. It's 9 meters. So 7 meters. Now it looks pretty same. Okay, let's leave like that. And the height uh, we will change after that. So now I will go to the uh, east view. Sorry. And now we can see profile on the east view. It's other side. If I will go to 3D and you will understand what I mean. So before we draw like this. And now we will draw like this. Okay. I think you understand. So let's go to the east view and let's create the our our shape. For that one, I need set again. Let's pick the plane. Oh, I I said we should set, but we forgot the finish edit mode. Now we should go to the edit profile and let's create the profile. So first, I want to check the building. It's six thousand seven hundred meter millimeter sorry oh it's pretty close let's do it okay nice so here is our model nice and let's draw it properly i think it will be like 500 only no we will make like 700 by 500 and by 500 and this one it will be also like uh, 200 only now we will go to the fillet radius and we will use only 200 millimeters and let's curve it so okay it looks pretty well so we will leave like that now i want to copy it just i will use the copy from that side to this side i will copy it too now i i just using the short key double c c c as you see here c o or c c it doesn't matter so let's select all this model now copy and make sure your multiplier mode is on and let's multiply it 
all the way. Of course we can use the array, but I wanna control it, because it's not so big the distance, so we can do it manually. We are not lazy person, right? So let's delete this one and trim it like this and as you see we get nice result but we are architect we are one details of course right so let's make it like maybe like 100 millimeters only let's check it really nice let's do it and like this ta -da! let's finish it now by tap i'm select everything again copy and again copy multiply Let's copy it all the way because if we will make the section, I won't get great result, not only the mess, right? So you think I think he, I'm right. Now we need to create the some materials. Let's choose the some material for that one. I think we will use the some common material. I just want like pattern on the section. Let's check it. Like which 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 one should we take? All of them is so bad. Really, so bad. Anyway, I will choose some default material. The part pa pattern it's okay. The pattern for the cut, right? Okay, this one. I will use this one for example. Okay, nice. I think it's everything pretty well. And let's say okay. And let's say again okay. And now it's magic. Let's go to 3D. Ta ta. We get it on 3D, but it's something like square. It's not what I want, right? And you also think like this. So, what we're gonna do? Let's again. <coughs> let's again, let's say like finish and edit place. Choose this one. And now we want to edit the sweep. Now we will edit the sketch path. And after that, I will go to the fillet arc. And let's make like 100. 1200 no it's too much right so let's back and i think it's like uh, 700 only let's let's try it yes it looks like let's leave it 700 only let's say okay and let's say again okay and now i will switch the mode to the shaded one um it's pretty close, pretty close, but still not here. I think it's only 500. So let's change it fast. I will do it fast. No worries, guys. Uh, the sketch path. This one. 500. 500. Yeah, I think it's 500. It looks like that. Oh, this is my mistake. And that one too. Okay, nice. Let's say okay, and let's say again okay, and again okay. Now we get what we want, right? So it's pretty close, but uh, you will say, what about the curtain wall here? So let's create the curtain wall. Let's go to the first level. Now we cannot say anything. That's right. Let's go to the second level. Now we can say everything. And as we choose the material, and now when it's cut, you can see the material inside this uh, thing. It's really cool. Let's go to the architecture wall. Let's choose the wall and maybe curtain wall, maybe storefront. Let's do the storefront from that side to this side. Okay, pretty well. Let's go back to the 3D view to understand what's going on. No, it's not well. It's so bad. Anyway, we will change it now. Ch choose your uh, to choose your the storefront, edit profile, delete everything. We don't need it. We will use the pick line. And now by tap, choose this line. Fine. Let's say okay. And let's say again okay. Delete everything. So as you see, we get the storefront, but still, I don't want to see that one. You have two ways. You can change the uh, edit type or we can use tab, select this line and add remove segments and let's remove the segments. You can, can use the tab, but I'm too lazy to do it. Done. So like this, we can copy it or we can create the same one. Let's continue. I will go to the uh, to, 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 to second floor, yes, I will choose the wall and my wall will start from the level 1 and will finish to the second floor. 
and as you see in this building we have the uh, some engineer part inside this building it's actually construction and engineer part this building standing on this that thing and there it's also like uh, ventilation and uh, MAP things right so let's create this part Oh, why I used storefront? It's not storefront, it's generic. Big one. Big huge guy. So let's do it. One like this, one like this, and like this, and finish it. Let's go back to 3D. Uh, it doesn't look like what I want. Because it's starting from the level 2. Why? How come? Anyway, we will change it. Base level, level 1. The second level. It's finished floor. Still not uh, what I want. Anyway, we will change it now. Unconnected floor and 2000, maybe 500. Let's try it. Yes, this is what I want. Really, pretty well. Now we need to create the staircase. Let's finish with staircase this tutorial. So we will create this, this staircase. It's actually, I cannot do the, exactly this staircase. It looks out like so ugly. We are architects, we, we bought the beautiful things. So staircase, let's create it from the level one and top level, level two. Let's create like this. And after that, like this, pretty well. Let's go to 3D and check what we get, uh, no. It's bad. So we should change this raised. It's total 4. Maybe it's 2 only. Oh, because to <laughs> I know what's happened with uh, my staircase. Because I did it uh, till the level 2. But our height is still uh, 2500. So I will create the new one. Let's go to the first level. This one none and 2500 only so we have 23 oh my god it's too much so i want only 15 no 20 12 sorry 12 yes this is more than enough so seven raised here and other one here nice let's go to the level two i cannot see anything here i will go to the level 2 and I will still leave ah it's my he it's here sorry I will say okay for that one now I will choose the my my staircase and I will move it here let's go back to 3d still not why want so we don't have to two rises two raised so let's edit it like top high 2005 maybe 3000 who knows yeah it's 3000 looks like sorry guys because i'm doing it's first time with you now done i think done i hope it done yes it done so as you see i spent like a few minutes and we get the shape of this building i will continue and i will show you the end result just I spent like few minutes to create the mm, some interior mm, some outside exterior and that's it so it's able to render so guys thank you for watching i hope it was so useful for you the next video i will render these things i think uh, just leave the comment in what i should render this the building thank you again for watching don't forget subscribe like and share this video See you next time. And that's it from today. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my social media. Leave some comments for this video. And give some like. And see you next time.